Hey guys, good evening and welcome again. Hello, this is me. Otra vez soy yo, chicos. Eh, apparently, the, yes, well, teacher uh, Ivan is not going to be with you today because <clears throat> I think he's he's sick, but I'm going to be with you, okay? Just give me one moment and I'm going to share my screen. It's going to be... Um, good evening. Thank good you. evening. Hello, welcome. Oh, okay. There you go. Just let me go back here to what we were, you know, doing yesterday. Uh, again, I mean, I know that we have to complete the full unit, so I'll try to um, cover as much as much as possible. Okay, Asike, thank you so much for joining on time. Again, welcome. Okay, so I'm going to begin with uh, a little bit of what we were, we were discussing yesterday. And remember, at eight ten, I'm going to pass the attendance. And uh, I'll just give 10 minutes, you know, so everybody can be in the in the class. Okay, so as I was saying before, yesterday we were reviewing a little bit about clauses and phrases, right? Showing contracts, contrast and exception. And we began, you know, with um, the two definitions, okay? We uh, were looking at the definition of a clause and we were looking at the definition of a phrase. And also, we were reviewing the three different words, or at least, you know, phrases <clears throat> that we were using to show contrast. And we have wild, we have unlike, <clears throat> and we have in contrast too. Also, I was able to share with you a little bit of the meaning, or at least the way we can go ahead and translate that into Spanish, right? And I think it helped us, right, to have a better idea on the type of sentences that we're dealing with. And then also we just talk a little bit about the use of except, except that, except, except for, and except for the fact that to show on a section. And we were saying that these are two different topics, okay? I mean, uh, what I'm saying is that they are not, you know, the same thing. One set of phrases Hello, will help Peter. us. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Welcome. Uh, the first set of phrases will help us to show contrast, you know, whereas the other one will help us to uh, show exceptions or to, uh, you know, kind of let the other person know what the exception is, right? Así que, that's a little bit of what we did yesterday. But let me ask you, does anyone remember what a close is? Do you remember what a close is, guys? Who remembers that? What is a close? Oh, uh, Reina Isabel, please. And then Debbie. Okay, when we have a subject very and also we can have a compliment so okay it's a <laughs> exactly and we have two type of clauses mm -hmm. which are independent and dependent correct mm -hmm. very good thank you so much rain isabel exactly right uh, we were saying that when we have a close generally we'll be able to find a subject and a verb those two important things okay and uh, as you were saying before, right, we can have two different, you know, types of clauses. We can have dependent clauses and we can have independent clauses, right? And it was very interesting to identify, you know, uh, which is which. And I was saying also that generally these words that we were studying yesterday, a wild, unlike, and in contrast to, they will go generally, you know, with a uh, dependent clause. Because as Reina was just sharing with you, the independent clauses are complete thoughts. So it's an, a complete idea or is an idea or a thought that can stand on its own. If I say, you know, this sentence or this clause, people will understand, you know, what I'm saying. But the independent one, it's, I'm, I'm sorry, the dependent one is an incomplete thought. Right. So it's an idea that, I mean, you will be like, what, what do you mean? I mean, that's an incomplete, you know, sentence That's an incomplete idea. Right. Very good. Now, who remembers what a phrase is? What is a phrase? What is a phrase? Uh, Boris, please. 
Okay, teacher, good, good evening. Good evening, welcome. Well, uh, you said yesterday that a phrase is a group of words that don't have subject and verbs. Exactly, that's right, okay? Generally, in a phrase, we're going to lack subject and verb, right? We're going to find probably a mix of words, but it will be an incomplete thought. Very good. Excellent. And well, guys, that's a little bit of what we did yesterday. And also we were working with uh, the exercise from the midterm exam, which I think, you know, was it, 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 um, it helped, it helped us, right. To, to have a better, you know, idea on, on, on the position of each of these phrases. Uh, I was telling you guys that uh, when you work with the exercises, try to have them or, or to put them into practice as you happen in the, in the material, in the uh, manual, right? So as you can see, we have them at the very beginning. So that's what we did with the, um, with the platform, okay? And then we have the second part, okay? I'm going to share it with you and, and I think I'm going to move to this part, which is where we stopped yesterday. Then we're going to continue with the rest of the information. But here, okay, in section two, from this exercise B in the midterm exam, it says instructions, rewrite the sentences using the words in parentheses. Remember to use capital letters and periods, right? Oh, just let me go ahead and duplicate this one. There we go. Okay, we finished the first part. Now let's go over here. Uh, this one, it's something different, okay? If this is something that you haven't, you know, um, studied yet, let me ask you, would you like to, you know, um, work on this exercise even though you haven't seen the topic yet? Or would you like to wait until you get to this topic? What do you think? This one, this part, is from, from the topic related that we just, you know, studied, but this one, no. Este no, no lo han visto. Lamentablemente no lo puedo tocar hoy el tema, but that's why I ask you. If you want, we can leave it for later. Lo dejamos para después. Y este, nos quedamos ahorita con esta idea porque no lo quiero. No les quiero revolver ahí todas las ideas, ¿ok? Entonces, bye. Let's leave it like that. However, let me go ahead and see if we can complete other exercises, you know, about the same topic. Now, what else we did yesterday? We also completed this exercise, right? And now uh, let's go ahead and practice a little bit, okay? You will do it with, you know, your own, um, with your own examples, okay? I have here. Are you typical? What a question, right? Are you typical? Complete this uh, sentences and compare with a partner. It says, well, here, um, this is just an example. Unlike, you know, most men or unlike most women where I live, I don't wear makeup. So in this case, you know, talking about uh, makeup, right? This is just an example for women, right? Unlike most women where I live, I don't wear makeup, which is true for me. Because I don't wear makeup, right? So unlike most women in El Salvador, I don't wear makeup. So what do I mean by saying this, this sentence? Well, pretty much what I'm saying is in El Salvador, women wear makeup, but I don't. So I am making contrast, right? Es un contraste. And okay, this is just one example. Then in the second one, and I'm going to give you each example, and then you are going to create your own examples, okay? In the second one, I have, um, in contrast to most of my friends, I don't like to watch soccer matches, okay? Now, as you know, in El Salvador, especially, you know, in Central America and in, in South America, um, men and women, they like, you know, to watch soccer matches. People like soccer, right? Now, when I was young, because actually, um, well, I'm 37, but I remember when I was in, in high school, I used to, you know, uh, practice soccer, but that was it. Um, but now, you know, that I am a grown-up woman, right, I don't like to watch soccer matches. So, in contrast, 
to most of my friends. I don't like to watch. Sorry, guys. It happens to me always when I'm in class. <clears throat> No voy a hacer que esté todo el día, ¿verdad? Haciendo otra cosa que no me da nada en la garganta, pero en clase, it happens. <clears throat> okay, so in, in, in contrast to most of my friends, you know, I don't like to watch soccer matches. And it's true, okay? Now, probably you can mention something different, okay? <clears throat> Number three, while a lot of people, oh, aquí está, while a lot of people where I live have pets, porque aquí usted tiene que agregar la situación. While a lot of people where I live have pets, I don't. And I don't think I'll have one anytime soon. Okay, so over here, guys, what I'm saying is that in El Salvador, uh, and, and, and you, can, you can tell me, right? In El Salvador, lots of people have pets, right? They have cats, they have dogs, they have turtles, they have chickens, they have uh, lots of pets but I don't, yo no tengo. And I don't know if we will have one, <clears throat> hopefully we will, right? But unlike or wild, a lot of people where I live, o sea, in El Salvador have pets, I don't. Entonces, as you can see, these three phrases, they come at the beginning, unlike, right? In contrast to and while. Now, another example, oops, perdón. <laughs> Um, in, it, I'm similar to many of my friends, except that, una excepción, I never been abroad, never in my life, no, nunca he estado, been abroad quiere decir estar en, o haber estado en el extranjero, verdad, entonces, uh, I'm similar to many of my friends, except that I never been abroad, okay, <clears throat> now guys, what I want you to do okay, is to create your own examples. And please do it. And I would like to listen to your examples. I think the best way to learn is through making mistakes, okay? So let's go ahead and create some examples with number one, number two, three, and four. So you have to create four sentences. And after you create the four sentences, you can share them with me. And I'm going to um, probably um, correct any mistake, probably to give uh, more ideas on how you can improve your sentences, okay? Así que, let's go ahead and set the timer. <clears throat> Vamos a ver dónde está el timer aquí, permítanme. Um, timer. Okay, let's Let's go ahead and give five minutes. Okay, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. At 18, 18, we're going to check them. Bye. Entonces, creemos un ejemplo cada una. Mientras tanto, yo voy a pasar lista. Okay. <clears throat> Bye. Eh, Abdi Avisua Peña López. Abdi Avisua. Teacher. Hola. Eh, it's not the list. Pero fíjense que hoy sí dice que es la del teacher. <coughs> Vaya, pero me la voy a buscar porque aquí estoy en la de él. Dice Abdi Avisua, Alejandro José Quintanilla, Ana Filomena. Ok, mm -hmm. yes. Ah, vaya, ajá. Ay, dije, yo me equivoqué otra vez. Vaya, a ti, a Visua Peña López. Luego tengo Alejandro José Quintanilla Ayala. Alejandro José. Ana Filomena Mendoza. Good evening, teacher present. Good evening, thank you, Ana. Eh, Ana Yanira Mendoza Godoy. Good evening, teacher, I'm present. Thank you. Eh, Andrea Michelle García Selva. Present teacher. Thank you. Byron Rafael Avelar Aquino. Present teacher. Thank you, Byron. Boris Martín Salinas Quintanilla. Hello, teacher. Hi, thank you. I'm here. Thank you. Eh, Cecilia Elizabeth Guardado Gutiérrez. 
and here. Thank you. Cesar Alexander Ramirez Ramirez. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Thank you. Um, Claudia Yanet Iraeta Martinez. <clears throat> Good evening, teacher. Present. Good evening. Thank you, Claudia. Debbie Natalia Segura Ramos. Debbie Natalia. Present, miss. Thank you, Debbie. Gracias. Eh, Daisy Carolina Rodríguez Mejía. Daisy Carolina. Present, teacher. I'm Thank here. you, Daisy. Thank you so much. Gabriela Loris Keira Bernal. Present. Thank you so much. Gabriela Stephanie Cortese Martinez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Gladys Imelda Sánchez Castro. Gladys Imelda I'm here, Sánchez. I'm teacher, but I, I, I don't... Um, <coughs> Castro. I don't. Only Sánchez. Mm, only Sánchez. Okay, very good. Le vamos a decir aquí al... There's something wrong with my script, I guess. Vaya, espérame. Déjenme ver si puedo mandar aquí el, el feedback. Permítame. Solo es Gladys Imelda Sánchez, right? Yeah. Perfect. <clears throat> eh, I, ya mandé el feedback, ok. Thank you. You're welcome. Luego tenemos a Jenny Elizabeth Santillana Cortés. Jenny. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you. Um, José Eraidín Enríquez. Here, teacher. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Thank you. Carla Stephanie Perla Umanzo. Hi, teacher. Present. Thank you. Hi. Eh, Luis Fernando Enrique Herrera. Present, teacher. Thank you, Luis. Madeline Dayana Cerón de Paz. Madeline Dayana. No yet. Eh, Maritza Isabel Méndez Aguirre. Good evening. Present, teacher. Good evening. Thank you, Maritza. Melanie Andrea Trinidad Villanueva. Present. Thank you, Melanie. Eh, Noemí Alicia Estrada de Valle. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Reina Isabel Romero Ventura. Here. Thank you, Reina. Rosa Esmeralda Hernández de Flores. Good evening, teacher. Present. Good evening. Thank you. Eh, Rufino Amircar Hernández Linares. Present teacher. Thank you. And Sandra Cecilia Munguía. Present. Thank you very much. Uh, just let me. Um, quiero quitarle las notificaciones. Aquí está. Bueno, vamos a ver, chicos. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and listen to some of your examples. I'm going to. Just open up here my whiteboard. <clears throat> Does any of you have, you know, examples or uh, complete sentences already? Reina Isabel, please. Tell me. This one. I'm like most of, my, of most of my partners in French. I don't like the language that much. Okay, wait. Unless, unlike all of my partners in French? I don't like that language that much. Okay, I don't like I don't like it that much, right? I don't like it that much. Okay, very good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So unlike most of my partners in French, I don't like it that much very good or i don't like that language that much okay you can say it like that as well but i think we can simplify it with it right because we already know that we're talking about the language french right okay excellent muy bien anyone else more uh, 
sentences? Come on, you can do it. Don't worry, you can make mistakes. Para eso estamos aquí. Okay. To help you and correct you. Okay. Remember that you have to complete one for each of the expressions, right? Tenemos una con unlike, una con in contrast to, una con um, wild y una con except that, okay? <clears throat> Come on, chicos. Uh, me? Go ahead, Anna. Uh, in contrast to most of my friends, I like to watch soccer match. Okay, I like to watch soccer matches. Okay. So, unlike, I mean, in contrast to most of my friends, okay, I like to watch soccer matches. Muy bien. Excellent. Very good. Anyone else? Don't be shy. Can I? Yes, definitely. Why a lot of the Salvadorian people? Uh -huh. <laughs> Where I live, have children. Like this? I don't. I yeah. don't. Okay, I don't have. Okay. And I don't think I will have one anything soon. I don't think I will have one soon. Okay. Very good. One, but I will have one soon. I don't think I will have one soon. Very good. Excellent. Uh, Boris. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> in contrast uh, to most of my partners, I don't like to watch scary movies. I don't like to watch... Scary movies, you said, right? Scary movies. Scary movies, yes. Okay, very good. Excellent. Solo tengo algo con esta. My brain is analyzing this one. Why are there a lot of Salvadoran people where I live? Creo que aquí lo tenemos que dejar así. Why are a lot of people where I live have kids? Coma. I don't. I don't. Y luego punto. I don't think I will have one soon. Hoy sí. Okay. Solo esa pequeña corrección. Ana. While a lot of Salvadoran people where I live have kids, I don't. If you see, piense que si nos fijamos en esa estructura, cuando usamos wild en, en, la, misma, en la misma cláusula, Ahí va la situación, ya se fijaron. Pero en las otras, lo podemos dejar en la siguiente cláusula. Unlike most women where I live, I don't wear makeup. Va en la siguiente, va digamos lo que estamos exponiendo, la situación o el contraste, ¿verdad? In contrast to most of my friends, I don't like to watch soccer matches, ¿verdad? La situación va... In the second clause, the same happens with uh, with this one. While, perdón, tiene, eh, Rufino creo que tiene el micrófono. Ahí está, gracias. Eh, permítame. Y la otra, cuando es, usamos wild, es diferente. Wild, a lot of friends where I live have pets. I don't. Va en la primera parte. Okay, I don't think I will have, you know, one anytime soon, but aquí, 
¿verdad? Ese es el ejemplo de esa. Usted puede dejarlo hasta I don't. De ahí lo demás, pues yo se lo agregué. And no he escuchado todavía una con except that, pero ya vamos a ver. Eh, Byron, please. Ok. In contrast to most of my friends, I like to watch action movies. Ok, vamos a ver. <clears throat> my friends, I like to watch action movies, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> yes, I remember when I was a child, I grew up, you know, watching lots of action movies. But of course, right? They were bloody, you know, movies like um, Rambo, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Todos esos señores, ya vea. Eh, dígame, Rufino. Um, the, the, four, the four sentences, I, I am similar to many of my friends, except that I don't smoke, smoke mm -hmm. or drink liquor. Okay, I'm similar to many of my friends, <clears throat> except, that except that I don't drink. I don't smoke oh. or drink liquor. Alcohol, right? Alcohol. Mm -hmm. I don't smoke or drink. I don't smoke or drink alcohol. Okay. Very good, thank you. Eh, Jose, please. Eh, I have another example. Okay. I would like to I would like to travel to Israel, except for the fact that it's in war. Yeah. I would like to travel to Israel. Bye. Aquí. Ya, bueno, primero voy, voy a escribir lo que usted me dijo. I would like to travel to Israel, except for the fact that is that it is in word. Bye. Let's analyze the sentence. I would like to travel to Israel, except for the fact that it is in word. Hmm. But here we are talking about two different things. We're talking about a place where we would like to go. And we're talking about another situation, which is, which is sadly, I have to say, right, that this country and, you know, the Palestinian people are in war right now. And I think the combination of ideas probably it's what, I mean, to me, right? It doesn't sound to me like natural. How can we fix that? Let's see. I would like to travel to Israel. Teacher, could be maybe I would like to travel to Israel, except for the fact that the ticket is very expensive. The, the no, el, el, el viaje es muy caro. Mm -hmm. To Okay. Should it work? Okay. You know, I would do something like this, okay, with your example. Uh, I would say something like traveling to Israel sounds great, except for the fact that the tic that tickets, um, no, no, some tickets is um, flight ticket, right? Fly tickets. The tickets are very expensive. What about now? Traveling to Israel sounds great, except for the fact that flight tickets are very expensive. It makes sense for me to check. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it sounds better. Uh, but I would like to use your sentences, your sentence too. I would like to travel to Israel. I would love to travel to Israel. Okay. I would I would say something like this. Quiero usar la oración que usted armó porque me parece que podemos usarla. We can say something like I would enjoy 
traveling? Porque después de enjoy podemos usar un, un gerundio, ¿verdad? I would enjoy traveling to Israel except for the fact that it is very expensive. No quiero usar lo otro porque siento que es un sensitive topic, es un tema bien sensible. Entonces, I would enjoy traveling to Israel except for the fact that it is very expensive. Ahí podemos usar esa, José, ¿verdad? What do you think? Very good, teacher. Now I understand it much better. Okay, great. I'm glad to hear that. Very good. Thank you, Jose. Um, what about you, Carla? Carla? Hi, teacher. Hey. Uh, my sentence okay. is, uh, unlike most of sisters. Unlike most? Of of sister or family sisters. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm I'm not interested in where my sister closes. Ah, oh, okay. I'm not interested in wearing. Oops, where oh, well. wearing huh? my sister's clothes. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, yeah, I remember that feeling. I mean, I'm the oldest. Actually, I have two other sisters. Um, but yeah, I mean, I remember a couple of times I took something from one of my sister, my sisters, uh, and yeah, they got mad at me. Yeah. Unlike most of my sisters, or you mean unlike most? Unlike most of my sisters. I'm not interested in wearing my sister's. Okay. Vamos a ver. How can we generalize? ¿Cómo podemos generalizar esto? Unlike most of my... Unlike most of my I, friends... I try to say it in, in, in general and not, a, not ah. a specific in my... Not okay. specific in my families. So let's uh, leave it women. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, can be women or every sister in other family. Mm -hmm. Okay, unlike most women who have sisters, I'm not interested in wearing my sister's clothes. What about now? ¿Qué tal, Loy? Does yes, it sound better? better. Okay. Yes, I'm better. Unlike most women who have sisters, I'm not interested in wearing my sister's clothes. I think it happens, right? In in un punto, en el otro, pero it always happens. Thank you so much, Carla. Anyone else? Le voy a bajar la manita para no confundirme. Anyone else? Don't be shy, guys. Let's practice. Let's listen to your sentences. I think there are lots of opportunities, right, when we make mistakes. Jose, tell me. Jose, ¿era ahí bien? Tiene la mano levantada. Yo creo que le bajé la I'm mano. I'm sorry, pero... teacher. teacher uh -huh. I'm having problems with my micro. Ah, ok. And don't I worry. did it. it. It was my mistake. I'm sorry. Ah, ok. Don't worry. I'm just opening the window because it's very... It's kind of hot right now. Ok. Anyone else, guys? Don't be shy. No se preocupen, solo le voy a bajar 10 puntos del examen final. No, mentira. <laughs> I'm not going to do that, okay? No? Can I say another one? Yes, of course, Reina. Go ahead. So, I have here, in contrast to my mom, I enjoy going out. I like going out, right? Okay. <laughs> no, 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 I'm sorry. Is that what you said? Is this no, it? I said I enjoy. Ah, okay. I enjoy mm -hmm. going out, right? I enjoy. Yeah. No, perdón, solo le repetía lo que había, el cerebro me había registrado. I enjoy going out. Muy bien. Eh, mm -hmm. You know what? Eh, Reina, in contrast to my mom, I enjoy going out. I will use a different one. Yo usaría una diferente. ¿Cuál cree usted que se oye mejor? 
Maybe unlike. Very good. Exactamente. Esa pensé yo. Unlike my okay. mom, I enjoy going out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, aunque okay. in contrast to my mom. You know, si ustedes se fijan, cuando usamos, y es que esta es la belleza, ¿verdad? Cuando uno está estudiando las, las oraciones. Si ustedes se fijan, cuando usamos unlike, lo que viene después es como directamente, eh, digamos, con quien lo estoy contrastando o con lo que estoy contrastando. Ya se fijaron. Unlike most men, where I live. Unlike, you know, my classmates. Unlike my husband, right? Pero in contrast to, en contraste con este grupo, in contrast to my, in contrast to most of my friends. Mm -hmm. Sí, la verdad es que sería posible, pero para mí, y creo que incluso para Reina, porque ella escogió luego la segunda opción, se escucha mejor on like. Ok, very good. Anyone else? ¿Alguien más, chicos? Eh, José. Teacher, yeah. um... Yes, uh, I like the holidays, except for November 2nd. I like all holidays, holidays except for November 2nd. November 2nd. Ah, pues no le vamos because a dar I don't like, libre mañana. <laughs> because I don't like to be to the cemetery. Okay, very good. Ah, pues no, le vamos a, le vamos a banear el, el, el November 2nd a... Oh, I see. Okay, now, now I like it, teacher. <laughs> okay, don't worry. I'm just kidding. It is, I like all holidays except for November the 2nd. Yeah. And yes, obviously, you can mention the reason, right? Because I don't be, I don't like, you know, to visit the cemeteries. Okay, muy bien, excellent. Uh, anyone else? Anyone else? No. Bye. Entonces, let's go ahead, guys, and move on. But actually, I have to say good job, ¿verdad? Para los que, pues, quisieron participar, muy bien. Entre usted más participe, más oraciones cree, mejor vamos a entender, ¿verdad? Porque una cosa es que yo venga y le diga un montón de cosas, y la otra es que usted cree la de ustedes, y a través de lo que ustedes vayan haciendo, ustedes vayan teniendo una mejor idea. Ahí les compartí las, <coughs> los ejemplos. Yo lo que siempre les digo es váyanse al, váyanse al chat y abran el mensaje y solo tomen captura de pantalla para que les queden todas las oraciones eh, como ejemplo, ¿verdad? Vaya, chicos. I'm going to continue here. And let's move on and practice a little bit, okay? Eh, this is an exercise. I'm going to give you some minutes, okay, for you to complete it. Uh, probably five minutes, four, four to five minutes, it says uh, circle the correct answer to complete the sentence, okay? Entonces, uh, right now, guys, you well, it's 38, ¿verdad? Eh, let's go ahead and give you until 8.43, a las 8.43. Voy a chequear yo el, el ejercicio. Así que le voy a pasar esto a teacher Iván para que se los pase luego. Oye, porque creo que ahorita le está ocupado. Eh, y ya después que se las pase él ahí al, al WhatsApp. Yo siempre pongo timer, pero no encuentro el timer aquí, niños. Así de que four minutes, cuatro minutos, ¿ok? Oh, my timer.
there is one that probably you don't know. Solo creo, veo una que creo que es la que ustedes no, 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 no han visto que es. Bueno, voy a irme a World Reference. <coughs> y es Whereas, que la usé al principio de la clase, no sé si se recuerdan. Whereas, guys, siempre es en contraste y le voy a compartir aquí. Perdón que les cubra el ejercicio, pero this is just for you to see. Okay, what it means, and let me share the link with you. Bye. Whereas um, is um, same thing, right? Uh, wild in contrast. Que también quiere decir mientras que. Okay, um, it's a conjunction, right? Uh, it's formal, and they use it in legal documents. And in legal documents, it means considering that. O sea, considerando que. Pero generalmente como contraste es esta, mientras que, and remember that guys, eso es, eso es lo importante de ir al diccionario y revisar el significado, porque yo tengo que buscar cuál es el contexto que yo estoy utilizando, ¿verdad? O sea, cuál es el significado que yo voy a necesitar para esta palabra, entonces tengo que buscar el contexto de esta palabra. Entonces, the context for this one is this, eh, perdón, acá. Wild in contrast, porque estamos haciendo eso, contraste. Mientras que ya si buscamos el contexto legal o formal es este. Considering that, considerando que. Ok, así que eso es whereas, just for you to know. <clears throat> Now, over here, guys. It gives you examples. Aquí le da ejemplos. It says, the, the, the following are additional, additional common phrases that show contrast and exception. O sea, ya vimos nosotros, ¿verdad? Unos ejemplos. Pero, whereas, especially in formal writing, we use it to present contrasting information. Whereas es, es más formal de las que ustedes han estado utilizando, como unlike, wild, ¿verdad? Eh, luego tenemos acá, except for or with the exception of, we use them to show an exception within a group. Que fue algo que mencionamos eh, anteriormente, se fijaron? Except for, ¿verdad? We are talking about the exception of a group. Uy, perdón, ese es el timer que, que puse. Ok. Ya pasaron los cuatro minutos, pero ya vamos, permítame. Entonces, here... Right? It says everyone in the school, y aquí estamos hablando de grupos, chicos. We're talking about groups, okay? Everyone in the school, except for the basketball team, must attend classes this afternoon. So we're talking about, or we're, I'm sorry, we're showing exception within a group. Everyone in the school, with the exception of the basketball team, must attend classes this afternoon. Right? This is when we're talking, you know, about uh, groups, right? Or some some people within a group, we can go ahead and show exception using except for and with the exception of. Okay? So let me know when you're ready. Me avisan cuando estén listos, please. When you finish, please raise your hand. <clears throat> Levanten la mano cuando termine. Thank you, Gladys.
Thank you, uh, Byron. Number one, okay. Yes, I mean, if you, if you want to check it, we can check it right now, right? You can begin with number one. And then Gladys. While I a big, a big breakfast, I just have coffee. Okay, very good, right? Mientras que. While Leo prefers a big breakfast, I just have coffee. Very good. Gladys, would you like to help me with number two? Of course. Um, no one in the class, with the exception of Eva, can speak German. Excellent. Okay, no one in the class, ex with the exception of Eva, right, can speak German. Muy bien. What about number three, Rufino? Uh, I'm going to try. Mm -hmm. uh, in, in Constance 2, see the people, people who live in farms must have a car. Correct, right? In contrast to um, city people, people who live on farms must have a car. Okay, thank you so much. What about number four? Number four, anyone? You're doing good. Boris, like. please. Uh, oh, perdón. Boris, sígame. Okay, I'm going to try, teacher. Okay. <clears throat> Unlike Thai woman, a Spanish woman, uh, greet each other with a hug. Okay, very good. Women, right? Women, unlike, okay. yeah, unlike Thai women, Spanish women greet each other with a hug. Okay, very good. Yeah, probably in Thailand, Thailand right? They greet in a different way. But in Spanish, women greet each other with a hug. Okay, very good. What about number five? Debbie, would you like to try? Yes, miss. Yes. Uh, Go ahead. I'm a typical Canadian, except, except for the, fi the fact that I don't like hockey. Very good, right? I'm a typical Canadian, except for the fact that I don't like hockey. Muy bien. Eh, Maritza, please. <clears throat> Number six. <clears throat> I, I have to be home by name. Whereas my brother can stay out late. Correct, right? I have to be home by night, whereas my brother can stay out late. Muy bien. What about number seven? Any volunteer? Raise your hand. Don't forget to raise your hand, right? Uh, Maritza, please. Um, everyone on our street. Mm. Except that my family has a car. Well, which one is the one that we use for groups? Look, we have two. We can use except for. Except and, for. Mm -hmm, and with the exception of. So everyone on our street, except for my family, has a car. Muy bien. Uh, what about number eight? Number eight. Uh, Sandra, please. Unlike me, all my friends are addicted to reality shows on TV. Correct, right? Well, I don't know if you remember, right? There was a time back then where lots of people were really into, you know, watching reality shows. Um, well, in my case... I remember one. I don't remember. ¿Cómo se llamaba? Operación Triunfo, me acuerdo yo. I really like that one. Woo! Long time ago. Y pues el primero creo que fue Big Brother o algo así, ¿verdad? But anyways. I think it was Operación Triunfo. Okay, very good, guys. Good job. Let's go ahead and move on, okay? Actually, I have one more exercise that I would like to work, I would like you to work with. Okay, and this is about exercise two. It says, read about Alonzo and John, right? Complete the sentences. Sometimes more than one answer is possible. 
okay? So you can include the two options that you consider, you know, are possible. Now, um, there you have the information about Alonzo and the information about June. So who can help me, uh, you know, to read the information about Alonzo? Who can help me read? Me, teacher. Alejandro, please. Okay. Alonso is in this last year of high school. Mm -hmm. Considers himself to be pretty typical. He's, I'm sorry, he's really into all kinds of sports. Mm -hmm. He isn't crazy about baseball. Mm -hmm. Hates using a computer, avoids using his cell phone. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Alejandro, who can help me with uh, June's information? Just to read it. Oh, no, I said, who can help me to read John's information? Mm -hmm. Anyone? Me, teacher. Oh, Carla, please. Oh, I'm sorry, yes. Maritza. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Um, John uh, is in his, first, in his first year of college. Doesn't think he's really, he's really typical. Mm -hmm. Doesn't play any sport. Doesn't watch any sport but baseball. Spend a lot of time playing computer games. Never goes anywhere without his cell phone. Very good. Thank you very much. Now, guys, that so we have read the information about them, we have to go ahead and decide the ones that we're using, right? ¿Cuáles son las que vamos a usar, Marce? We're going to use um, unlike, wild, uh, except for, right? Whereas, and except for the fact that, okay? Prácticamente las que hemos usado eh, anterior. ¿Cuáles son, Marce? Son estas. Miren. These ones, estas de acá, unlike and while, estas dos. And, and estas. Eh, whereas, except for, or with the exception of. Esas son las que van a usar. Okay, así que uh, let's go ahead and complete this one, guys. I'm going to give you probably four minutes, cuatro minutos. Voy a poner el timer, okay. Y traten de poner solo la respuesta porque de todos modos, pues, Teacher Iván ya en un momento más tardecito les va a compartir lo que, lo que está en pantalla, ¿verdad? Así que para que no tengan que escribirlas todas. Sin embargo, ¿verdad? Yo soy de las que les gusta escribir todo, ¿verdad? Así que también entiendo a los que, a los que escriben las oraciones completas porque I'm like that. Yo soy así. Entonces, um, I will set the timer for four minutes and your four minutes begin right now. <coughs>
novo. Estaba buscando ejercicios para, para darles links, pero como que está un poco difícil encontrar. Contrasting conjunctions. Ajá, es que hay ejercicios, pero los ejercicios contienen, porque, to be honest, guys, there are more, there are plenty, hay un montón. Entonces, si los pocos ejercicios están mezclados con un montón de otros ejercicios, entonces, también de otras conjunctions. No, no hay algo que se ajuste exactamente a lo que están viendo acá. Bueno. Ok. Guys, time's up. Let me know. Are you ready? Yes, no, no yet, maybe. <laughs> yes, very good. Start? Very good. I'm sorry. I'm done. Okay, excellent. Very good. So let's go ahead and um, take a look at number one. Okay, so who wants to help me with number one? But just remember to raise your hand. Levantemos la mano porque si no, veces, verdad, eh, Habla una persona y levanta a la otra persona la mano, entonces es bien difícil. Eh, Alejandro, please. Oh, Let me... uh, John has already finished high school while Alonso still attends one. Very good, exactly, right? Now here we have two different options, right? We can say wild or we can say whereas, right? John has already finished high school, whereas, or wild, Alonso still attends one. Muy bien. What about number two? Volunteer for number two? Volunteer for number two? Eh, Reina, please, y Boris me ayuda con number three. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alonso considers himself to be pretty typical. I have in this case, whereas, mm -hmm. whereas John doesn't. Very good. So same case, right? We can use either or. We can use whereas or we can use while John doesn't. Very good. Thank you so much. Hey, Boris, number three. Uh, I tried to share. Mm -hmm. In contrast, John Alonso is a big sport fan. Okay. Good try. Good try. But do you remember which one we can use? ¿Se acuerdan de lo que les explicaba? Hace un momento. Ok, bien. unlike. Unlike. Excelente, muy bien. Ok. So, unlike John, Alonso is a big sports fan. Les comentaba que eh, esto es personal, ¿verdad? No hay ninguna regla ni nada por el estilo, pero sí observaba yo que when we have unlike, cuando tenemos unlike, it goes right next to, you know, eh, the noun or what we are, com um, the person we are comparing up to or the the thing we are comparing to, right? Unlike John, Alonso is a big sports fan. Muy bien. What about number four? <clears throat> number four. Eh, Maritza, please. Number four. Alonso is a fan of what sport? Except that baseball. Except that. Mm, pero that mm, except, comenzaría una cláusula nueva. Except. Uh, or. Mm -hmm. Or. 
Muy four. bien, except for baseball. Muy bien, correcto. What about number five? Number five? <clears throat> eh, Jose, please. June enjoys computers while Alonso hates using them. Mm -hmm. Same case as number one and two. We can use whereas or while, right? Alonso hates using them. Muy bien. Number six. Uh, Byron, please. Okay. Unlike Alonso, Jan carries a cell phone at all times. Very good. Correct. Thank you so much. What about number seven? Number seven. Just two more. Solo dos más y I'll let you go. Number seven. You can do it. Eh, Sandra, please. Alonso probably has a lot of energy. Uh, why? June doesn't seem to. Very good, right? So in this case, again, same case, same case whereas or while John doesn't seem to, right? And number eight. Aquí solo hay una, okay? Which one do you think it is? Uh, Jose, please. Tell me. I think you're on mute, Jose. Uh, sorry, teacher. Mm -hmm. June and Alonso are very different, except for the fact that they both have cell phones. Correct, right? June and Alonso are very different, except for the fact that they both have cell phones. Okay, guys. Good job. Okay, excellent. Don't forget um, to continue working in the platform. Also remember to um, to write down, that's my recommendation all the time, whenever you're working with a platform, write down the exercises that you have problems with. So once you know you get to your teacher on Friday, you can go ahead and um, ask, you know, for, for, for help. I'm glad I was able, you know, to complete this idea. Probably uh, your teacher is going to continue with the rest of the information tomorrow. And uh, remember tomorrow, no class because we have a holiday. I wish you the best for tomorrow, guys. Try to rest, try to enjoy with your family, try to enjoy the holiday, and you will meet with your teacher on Friday, okay? Así que, I'll let you go, guys. Okay. Have a good night. Yeah. You're bye welcome. Bye-bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye, bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye, bye. Thank you, teacher. bye guys. Bye-bye.